Good morning. Uh, today we are going to be talking about compassion and how that is, um, how it relates to humility. So as I started to think about um, humility and compassion, I was think um, scripture came up as Colossians 3, 12 through 14. And it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. So with humility, what humility does, it um, keeps us open to learning. And the opposite of that um, is arrogance. And what arrogance does, it closes us up, prevents us from, um, as people are arrogant, we can be arrogant, we um, get closed up to listening, listening to others. And when we don't listen, this creates a great divide amongst us, um, and we cannot have the unity that the Lord desires for us. So if we're closed up, we can't learn. Um, Humility also prevents us from judging others. So how many times do we find ourselves judging others? Um, and definitely as we hear recent, so much more recently, but strong opinions, judgments of others. Um, and we have these judgments of that, well, this should happen or that should happen. And if they would listen to me or if they did it this way, then all would be well because I know better or whatever. Uh, the painful part is though is when we feel judged and that's why we know how painful judgment can be is what we experience. So I know in my own personal life when I have felt judged or um, have been judged, uh, I the first thing that comes into my heart, my mind, is if they only knew, you know, if they only knew my story or if they only had my perspective, if they only um, were in my shoes and then they would understand and then they probably wouldn't judge me so harshly. Um, but usually when we're arrogant or we come across arrogant people, um, we don't take the time to listen. Others don't listen. Uh, so basically with humility, we, we need um, to listen in order to learn and that's what King Solomon did he's the one with the who received great great wisdom but he learned by listening to his Lord um, and then he acted and that is where compassion comes in so I read this uh, quote by Frederick Buchner and it says compassion is the sometimes fatal capacity for feeling what it is like to live inside somebody else's skin it's the knowledge that there can never really be any peace and joy for me until there is peace and joy finally for you too. Great quote. So compassion um, definition of Webster's Dictionary says it's a sympathetic concession of others' distress together with a desire to alleviate it. So compassion, the root word for um, compassion is pati. And that is meaning to uh, meaning is to suffer, and calm, which is prefix, is with, and so you have compati, which is to suffer with. So we can have empathy, we can have uh, sympathy, empathy, sympathy, and these are emotions, feelings, but they don't have an action component to it, and that is why compassion is so important because it's an action word. It gets us involved. It leads us to act to alleviate the sufferings of others. It also means suspending judgment so that we can appreciate others. Uh, we can appreciate their perspective. We can appreciate their situations, which they can be quite different than our own. Uh, in my own life, um, the week before uh, I got in my life-changing uh, career into social work, um, I was driving up our street and we had just had this newly, um, this fence newly painted white, it was beautiful and uh, as drove up the following day, 
and there was just graffiti all all over it and I remember just being so frustrated so irked it's like who would do this who would who would why would you do that like what is the purpose of it all you're doing is just destroying property like what is the point of it and by the grace of the Lord the following day as I was going to volunteer um, I had a conversation many conversations with um, those culprits <laughs> the ones who had done the graffiti and I got to listen to their stories I got to um, understand why uh, they would do such a thing what led them to it and uh, in doing that in hearing their stories their plight of um, how their the trajectory of their life um, how they experienced homelessness during that time when they started to go off the off the course um, it really was um, life-changing and a lot of you know that I, I work with the homeless and I am so humbled every day to hear the stories of people um, that experience homelessness and uh, I know we can look at the encampments and we can um, say oh there's you know it's just the drug drug problem or some mental health problem but if we really people really listened to their stories the judgments would alleviate the which is also painful but we would be called we would we would have it on our hearts to act to alleviate um, their suffering and um, I'm just fortunate to be able to hear what people do um, what they have to um, survive and uh, it really breaks the Lord's heart of what people had to uh, go through but we are called to um, lend um, those to be the Lord's hands and feet to alleviate uh, that so as I look at the Colossians therefore as God's chosen people holy and dearly loved clothe yourselves with compassion kindness humility gentleness and patience bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone forgive as the Lord forgave you and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity as I was studying this too um, another scripture that rang true as far as how to act um, is Proverbs 31 8 9 and it says speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves for the rights of all who are destitute speak up and judge fairly defend the rights of the poor and needy so how can we show compassion well we need to ask God to open our eyes um, open our ears to listen uh, to what people's needs are listen to the people's stories um, before we judge and see how we can act to alleviate the suffering that's happening in our world it's happening in our community happening in our church maybe happening in our own families we're not going to be able to do that unless we listen um, that's an action in itself so um, I just want to pray and ask God to open our eyes to show us how to be more compassionate like he is um, so let's pray Lord Jesus I thank you so much um, for how you have blessed us so so much in our world and um, I pray, Father, as fortunate as we have been, I pray, Lord, that you would um, help us to help those who have been less fortunate, that we would keep our eyes open, we would keep our ears open to hear your voice, to hear um, you show us uh, where we need to act. And uh, I thank you for the opportunity, Lord, that uh, we get to participate. Um, we get to be all in for you. We get to participate in alleviating the suffering just as you have alleviated our suffering so much thank you lord and be with us today in jesus name all right have a great day act alleviate suffering be compassionate humble yourselves
You are worthy of it all. 